Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Tutorial from Insight Studio. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak tweaks also compatible with iOS 10. So on behalf of that, let's get started. Alright guys, before we get started, you guys want to go ahead into your City app and go to Sources and you guys want to go click Edit and then Add on the top left and you guys want to type in repo.byteyourapple.net and I'll have that in the description, so all you have to do is just copy and paste it into here. Alright guys, so I'm going to start this off with a really cool tweak called Barrel. Basically what Barrel does is it changes the slide animation on your home screen. So as you can see, once you're in the app, you get all these different options. And let's just say I'm going to do Curl and Roll Away, which is a really popular one. And as you can see, once I go to the home screen and slide, it plays this really cool animation. Alright guys, this next one is really cool. It's actually a winterboard theme. And the themes are called Arius and Circulus. And as you can see, once you go into winterboard, you just select them right here. And it's also paired with Circulus to make those circular icons. And I think it's just really cool and beautiful. Alright guys, this next one is more of a security feature, but I still find it really cool. It's called BioProtect and it locks individual apps or other features on your phone from being opened by using the fingerprint sensor. So say for instance you want to lock an application, and say for instance App Store, so you can just toggle that on. And whenever you go to your App Store, it will ask for your fingerprint and the only way to open it is by using it. Really cool feature, go check it out. Alright guys, this next one is another security feature. It's called I Caught You Pro. Basically what it does is whenever someone's trying to hack into your phone, uh, they get the password wrong, it takes a photo of them, and it sends it to your photos library, and you got all these settings here. Um, and I'll basically just show you what it does. So I'm in the lock screen, and as you can see, I'll type in my password wrong. And it takes that flash, and when it does that flash, it takes a photo and it sends it to the photo library. So you'll be able to see who is trying to hack into your phone. Alright guys, this next one is pretty much an annoyance fixer. It's called Spotlight Be Gone, and it just gets rid of spot, uh, the spotlight search settings. Where for instance, when you swipe left or when you swipe down, uh, nothing happens. And this is what it looks like in settings, and once again, it's called Spotlight Be Gone. So make sure to go check it out. Alright, this next feature is a very handy one, um, it's called Power Down, and pretty much all it does is when you hold the power button, instead of just saying slide or power down, it shows uh, slide or reboot, respring, and safe mode. Very handy if you're jailbroken, and way more features than before, so make sure to try it out. Alright guys, for this next tweak we have Eye Cleaner. Now if you haven't already heard of Eye Cleaner, it pretty much just frees up a ton of storage on your device by cl clearing junk files and um, cache files. And it comes in very handy if you only have a 16 gig device. Um, now, I just clicked the analyze button, so tell me how much um, storage it can free. So as you can see, it says um, I'm able to clear 315 megabytes of storage. So in order to do that, all I have to do is just click the clean button on the top right corner. And it will respring and it will uh, have 315 megabytes of storage cleaned off my device. Highly recommend it if you have a 16 gig device. Alright guys, for this next tweak we have Virtual Home. Pretty much what Virtual Home does is instead of actually having to click the home button, you just slightly rest your finger on it and it acts as if you were clicking it. And if you hold it, um, you rest your thumb on it and hold it. Um, it enters multitasking, and as you can see, you get all these different options, such as single tapping, double tapping, short holding, all these options, all these different commands you can do with different presses. And I think it's really cool, and you guys should definitely check it out. It's called Virtual Home. Alright, this next tweak is a really cool one. It's called Anchor, and what it allows you to do is move your home screen icons wherever you want. So I can move this one right here, although normally it would have never allow that. And I can move 
for instance, uh, FaceTime way down here, and it doesn't move or anything. Really cool, definitely check it out. Alright guys, and for this last tweak, we have CC background. Pretty much what CC background is, is when you slide up and head into control center, you get this image um, in your control center, like as you can see here. And pretty much, just what the settings look like for it, you just click enable and select the image you want and respring. And your image should pop up when you slide up from control center. Definitely neat and definitely check this out guys. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite tweak was. And have a good one.